It's a really cool company. The whole idea is like it's uh, it's like it's almost like when you it's a dry formula when you spray onto it. Yeah. When you get close to it, it's almost like you can get about maybe like two or three inches that close to spray. Plethora of colors. Nice. And that's all this stuff here? Yeah. All the colors. Yeah. The shifters themselves are Chavanel. Yeah. Really cool. He's got, the, he's got his rig railer back there. Oh, he's got the drum chain. Assistant. Oh, yeah. Oh, small company. Yeah, familiar with this guy. Yeah, this guy's really cool. And then this is our uh, the hi fi uh, new. Uh, I was going to say, let's talk about your product. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is our tubular, uh, the, uh, call the tubular EP with the disc. So what are we going to buy? It's a 1400 gram tubular cross wheels. Super fast, super fun to ride. 24, 28, front and back. That can be can be converted from a, a nine millimeter quick release to a, to a through axle. Okay. Pretty easily. So, hey, Josh. Hey there. <laughs> so, let's talk about them. Oh, hey, man. Hey. Good to meet you. Hello. Your hands are full. Yeah. This entire Pleasure. show has been like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Squid more. Yeah, Corporal, well, you know, you know Squid, obviously. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, so. Let's talk about our wheels right now. Yeah, right on. We do a lot of work with Squid, obviously. We have the brands that we have in here for, you know, very intentional purposes. Yeah. Um, your cycle boredom, I would say that there's a lot of stuff in the mainstream cycling industry that's pretty boring. <laughs> the exceptions are in here. Like, we love what Squid does, we love what Ren and Vinyl and Rita does. They're beautiful and they're exciting and, you know, they're, they're kind of a breath, breath of fresh air to an industry that needs it. And yeah. our goal is to be that on the wheel part of that equation. So. And then uh, he was uh, starting to touch on uh, your actual wheels. Sure, yeah. So let's hear a little bit what uh, you guys got going on. Yeah. I've mean, never actually sat down and was able to look at what you guys have. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're three years in as a company. Um, it's our first time at Interbike. So we're very much interested in getting into shops. But we have a, we have a super good product. Um, I'd say the hubs are at the center, literally and figuratively, of what we do. So our design. Uh, they come out of a factory in Taiwan. Can you hold that? Being lightweight is important to us, but it's you know third or fourth down the list of what we care about. So yeah. performance and durability, definitely more so. Um, so this is a disc hub. This is actually a boost hub, but same internals as our road hub and uh, as our regular mountain bike and cross hubs as well. Um, all the disc hubs convert through axle. That's part of the part of the deal. Through axles, uh, quick release. Road and mountains interchangeable. That's an XD. That's a campy. You can do a regular SRAM Shimano free hub okay. on all of our stuff. Um, we have our pals inside the uh, hub shell instead of on the free hub body. The free hub body just has the points of engagement there. Um, six pals, two sets of teeth on each. So you basically get 12 points of engagement in there. Um, Leaf spring under the pawls instead of a coil spring for better durability. Okay. So coil springs are just those little those little yeah. coils obviously that are prone to rusting and eventually popping out. These are better protected because they're in here. Also just better durability, better springs. Um, we use Japanese sealed stainless steel bearings. Um, good quality, easy to access, big big diameter bearings, easy to service. Um, so down the road. You know, you have a problem with bearings, you need to replace them. You can get them from us, but you can also get them from pretty much any bike shop. They'll yeah. either have them or be able to order them. So being able to service stuff easily is important. Um, we're in Portland, where there's obviously rain and mud and cyclocross is big, so our equipment needs to stand up to abuse, particularly yeah. the hubs. Um, other things moving out from the, from the hub. Um, Carbon clinchers are obviously really big. Aluminum disc is a big seller for us, especially with the squid. Yeah. Um, they're selling, oftentimes this is the wheel that will sell with their rattle can. 
It's also the wheel that these guys from Ren and PDX die, they have a lean cross team. This yeah. is their gravel bike, but they have a similar, similarly spec cross bike as well. Um, this is designed for a 700C. We're showing it with a 275 by 2.1 setup. So nice. Our alloy wheels with the Schwabe uh, Thunder, what's it called? Thunderbird. Um, so nice fat, like fun, do it go anywhere, bike packing style adventure bike with some custom J Pack bags that are lightweight and awesome. Um, but yeah, so the PDX Thai team, this, this frame company's uh, elite cross team, races these set up tubeless. Um, all of our punctures are tubeless ready, so you can put a tube and do a tube tire, but you can also do tubeless. Yeah. Um, the whole team ran these Vittoria tubeless last season, I believe. I don't know what tire they're on this year, but tubeless again. Um, and, you know, there's a 175 pound dude on that team running like 26 PSI tubeless nice. and loving it. Um, so it's a setup that we're excited about. Um, yeah, and then we do we do carbon clinchers, we do carbon tubulars, mostly for cross, but you know for for whatever for road and track as well. Um, just kind of getting into the the track scene more. Came out with a hub this this past summer for track. Nice. Yeah, I mean you know like we try to like I said we try to be versatile. Um, our carbon's awesome. Really good heat dissipation. Um, like among the best heat dissipation when it came back from testing from Swiss Stop for certification with their pads. Like it was, the it was the best results we've seen, including some stuff from like most of the other big brands. We didn't see anybody better. There were others that were close. So that speaks to the quality of the carbon and the resin and the, nice. the brake track. Um, this is a hit single carbon clincher, which is the first carbon clincher we came out with. It's a 50 mil. We now have a EP, which is a 38, and an LP, which is a 60, and an 8-track, which is an 85. But we did this one first, called it the hit single because it's kind of a do-everything depth. Yeah. Um, it's, this one's 50 deep. They're all 25 wide. They're all a nice tubeless ready profile that sets up super well. Um, IRC tire, which we have on that bike, that vinyl, as well as the Rita, have... I mean, it's one of the tires that works really well. Pretty much any tubeless tire will work well, but we like those guys a lot. They like our rims a lot. They have our, our wheels showing off their tires in their booth here. Okay. So that's pretty exciting that there's a Japanese company excited about what we're doing. You know, it speaks well for, to us, I yeah, think. That's good. It's like a 27, 28 internal. Somewhere, somewhere in that yeah. range. Um, Super easy to do through axle. These pop off end caps. Yeah. Through axle caps pop on if you want that. That stuff all comes with our wheels. Obviously, tubeless ready, they come taped. Um, this one, these just screw off with two Allens and you slot the through axle in. You can do XD, you can, you can get weird and do like through axle campy because it shares free cut bodies with our road stuff. So, for like a cross racer or somebody has a bike like that and they want to do adventure bike with campy, you can do it. Um, yeah, like I said, we try to be as versatile as we can and, and durable and serviceable and we think very attractive. No, they look so, good. Yeah. Um, They're very distinctive. Yeah, I mean, we play off of, obviously off of music for a reason. Like some of it is aesthetic. You look at some black round thing and it's pretty easy to make the jump that it's a vinyl record. Yeah. Um, so that's fun, but it's more than that. It's also just wanting people to be excited about what they're doing and trying to connect to them. You know, get them excited about their bike and connect with us, ideally, and like we want to build community and sort of foster that. Um, I would say that most people, maybe everybody, is excited about some kind of music, whatever that music might yeah. be. Um, and if we can capture some of that enthusiasm for their bicycling, you know, I mean, there's a different excitement for riding, but you get endorphins going and you get some like right brain experiential stuff going while you're like solving problems, how to go down an ascent or you're partially hypoxic. Yeah. That level of excitement, to me in some weird way, is kind of like how I get excited about music. Hopefully that's the case for other people too. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks man. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
has just not enough to fight the Autobot. Autobot also has more resources to go and fight it. 